this person being seasoned, what they did is they went in and they boarded everything up because they have a lot of expensive, newer mechanicals in there, and you don't want to have all that stuff, all that money stolen from you, right? And what you're getting is a pretty well put together rental property, right? Easily, easily knock out 1200 bucks a month with Section 8. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you giving it to you straight. Don't let the exterior of this house get you nervous, make you scared, okay? It looks from the exterior like you're going to walk into like a, a bomb or like a, a totally trashed house. Not the case, guys. In fact, uh, this is done to preserve the quality of what's going on in this house, right? 3855 East 54th, right? This particular property owned by an out-of-state investor who chose to leave it vacant so they could sell the property. So this person being seasoned, what they did is they went in and they boarded everything up because they have a lot of expensive, newer mechanicals in there and you don't want to have all that stuff, all that money stolen from you, right? When you guys are in the city of Cleveland, Vacant properties are a target, okay? They are a target. So you get a lot of new landlords out there. They don't think about that stuff. They, they think that, oh, whatever, it's no big deal. I'll lock the doors and it's fine. And then, boom, the windows get broken. And next thing you know, your new hot water tank, boom, out the door. Your new furnace, boom, out the door. Sometimes they even cut out some of the electrical wiring, right? So what you see here is what a seasoned investor would do. They would board it up if they're choosing to leave it vacant uh, for any long length of time, right? And what you're getting is a pretty well put together rental property, right? Easily, easily knock out 1200 bucks a month with Section 8, okay? And all you gotta do is cosmetically fix it up, right? You got some issues on the floor, you got some peel and paint throughout, so go ahead and just knock out your cosmetic renovations, get it lead certified so you're in line with all Cleveland's regulations, and boom, put yourself a Section 8 tenant in there and make a ton of cash flow for well under the 1% rule. If that makes sense to you guys, let me know. If you like, we will get you into that property. You hit us up. We'll get you into that property same day. As long as you hit us up before 5 o'clock, just send us an email. Sales at HoltonWise.com. We'll have you or your contractor go through the property. Please do your due diligence. Look through the whole thing with a fine tooth comb and put together your exact line by line bid, scope of work, what have you, and then let me know how much you want to pay, and we will get you squared away, right? We encourage you guys to go in there, do your due diligence, right? Because this whole thing's put together, right? Furnace, roof, hot water tank, all your big ticket items, the windows, all in good shape. Literally just needs a little bit of cosmetic rental, and then you are making Section 8 millions like I do. So send uh, emails, inquiries, info, everything, send it to sales at holtonwise.com. If you're out of state and you can't get inside the property and you just want to make an offer, contingent on inspection, you could do that as well. Sales at holtonwise.com. Heck, even if you need lenders for properties like this one or other properties, just let me know. Sales at holtonwise.com. Let's go. Okay, well, I'll just get the outside. <laughs> and then I'll try to try. It's not a bad idea. What's the address to this? And that concludes our video tour of 3855 something or other street boulevard. Is there a door on the back? Oh. You might be able to take it off. I don't know if the. You should. That's pretty sweet.
neighborhood. This neighborhood's going through a lot of renovations. Yeah. As you can see, there's no back on that house over there. This is like a hole straight up. And then, uh, I'm going to take off. Yeah, I haven't seen these fucking bugs everywhere. You see when they fly away, they're hey, like... Hey, what's the kill? Why? Why? What's that? It's a lantern fly. Yo, that's like Ohio EPA is like literally like, yo, kill those fuckers. Really? They're hugely invasive species. Huh. How'd they get here? We gotta be good Ohio. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Here, hold this. Can you hold this for a second? Don't, uh... You don't have to film me do this, but I'm going to try to do something here. <laughs> Muslin? Muslin and bustling. Is it a handle and a dead ball, or just a... It's a dead ball and a handle oh. and an inner handle. See, I don't think the dead I just killed one, Derek. You see that? He fucking flew in the same I don't know. He flew right into me, though. Die! This, uh, I don't know what I should do. Unless you have something to put in there, this should have the C25. Did you, like, give it to someone? No, oh, it didn't. It should be, yeah, it should be in there. That should be a whole set. Oh, you know what, baby? Then, yeah. Okay. Confession to me! I do not. You know what some of the people do, like, uh... Right, Just get, broadcast themselves gaming? Get us in this shit. Yeah, and, I've seen that. Uh, Black. Everyone was laughing. The one did comment. He's like, I'm looking for the smoke detector chirp. I was going to say, I hear one inside yeah. here. And some black dude commented. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, we already did the outside. We should probably just pop the doors open. Pop in. Yep, let's do it. It's probably going to be dark in there. You know, all the windows are boarded up. You never know, dude. It can have every light on. Someone tried to bolt cut this. Sweet. I don't know why they would do that. Yeah, right? Oh, they probably didn't have the code. Bro, it still says old. Did they just fucking add a new key to it? Well. Uh, it worked this time? It worked this time. I fell down the steps like All a right, fucking I'll asshole. Let you lead. This is this room. Oh, there's a room back here. Front bedroom. You guys are just gonna get the. Oh fuck! I gotta go that way. It's locked or something. There is a light on. like Silent Hill though. <laughs> There's a light on up here too. Hello, is anybody up here? Okay. Even if there is, they wouldn't be here long. It's hot as fuck up here.
just in case. There ain't nobody in there. Was that you? Yeah. Oh, for sure it's on. Yeah, all the lights are on up here. Oh shit, this place goes back forever. Also, this window's open. You know, there's nothing more terrifying than going into an abandoned house on the east side where all the lights are just on. Stop, dude. Fuck. Alright, well, I guess I could be a nice guy, turn some of them off. Right. I don't know where, dude, I think there was a, there was a door in the kitchen that probably leads right into that, but... This stairway is skinny as fuck. I'll just yeah, for go around. All the, yeah, all these stairwells are like it's a labyrinth. What's in here? It's a closet. I'm walking down all silly because look at all these nails sticking out of here. Yeah, I don't want to catch anything on this. So the question would be, where's the fucking basement? I don't know. I guess I'll figure that out. <laughs> uh, I think I found the basement. No, oh, thank God. <laughs> I saw the, the black floor, yeah. flooring, was like, oh no, it goes into the abyss, bro. Yeah, but then where's all the electrical shit? Yeah, I don't know. See, this man looks like... It's covered in something. Yeah, bathroom. What was holding that back door shut? It looks like it's nailed in there, like a light though. I don't know, I just turned those lights on. It's a big fucking kitchen for this little ass house. Right? I think that's where the stairwell lies. Oh, so one of these doors is the basement. This goes up, this goes down. Okay, that only goes up and this goes nowhere. So there's no basement? So everything should be in that utility room then. Ah, uh, basement's right here. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Cobbler City, dude. We got anything to clear it? Oh yeah, that's why I couldn't kick this thing in. Oh yeah, that's fucking screw shut. Time from Sunday. I like all these signs. I bet they say like private property, no trespassing. Yeah, no, maybe. Huh? Well, it's down here. Yeah, it's not here. No. They have even the bracers. Yeah, dude, nobody's been down there in a while. That's a good indicator. Shit. And if they are, they're probably dead. Surprise! Yeah, that's right, dead body, dude. Uh, careful, on these steps, they're yeah. fucked. Old school silver shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's the fucking furnace? No, the furnace on the other side. This is an old Damn. school incinerator. Pretty sure this is a garbage incinerator, yep. I should open that. <laughs> Furnace. I gotta get it from the other. Hot water tanks on this side. It looks like electrical might be too. It's right there. Oh shit, okay. It actually looks updated. Yeah. Yep. No daddies. What are we gonna get? 
Maybe one of us should have stayed upstairs to guard that door. Yeah, I was gonna say we left the door. <laughs> Carrier. Oh no, it's a cover. At least you don't know we've been here. Yeah, just us. I'm getting a lot of cobwebs straight to the face. <laughs> My favorite. I don't even know what's back there. Dude. No, but I want them now. So Might as well. So here's what we do. Yeah, dude. That's, we need like a clearing stick. Remember that ass whooping stick I found? That'd be a great clearing. Just keep that in the car. Nothing. Like the cop pulls over and saw it says ass whooping stick. You'd... Nothing back here but fucking internet cables. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's where the fucking torque collapsed over there. The fucking. The water in has no meter on it. Oh, yeah. So buy this house, free water, dude. It must have an external. Free water for life. Free water for you, Jim. That's the outside. Yeah, that's kind of ah! the front porch right there. Did I turn right into. Jesus. I feel it on my face. I don't know what fuck. And a free incinerator. Yeah, right? Still hooked up too. Well, yeah, they cut the still gas line, but still vented. Yep. Oh, geez, I can only imagine what's under these fucking stairs, bro. A box. A fox? A dead box? There's like a box of books down there. I'm not daring enough to walk, you know, no, I go through those webs. Yeah, that's probably a little bit, bro. Alright. Oh, so that's good. That goes upstairs. You know that now. Cool. Interesting setup. Extremely. This is a cool house. Well, they can be moved. I got to know. What they say. Yeah. It's got to say, like, private property keep out, right? Something. No trespassing. Yeah. Literally. Private property, no trespassing. Wow. No. I think I left one middle light on back there. I, mean, I, I Yeah, I wouldn't. Listen, I'm going to go through this outlet. Come on, Kyle. Kyle's in here. You put that up right Yeah, it's pink as fuck, dude. Pink as shit, dude. There's uh, ramen underneath the sink. That I didn't get. Oh shit, he flavored it? Yeah. Nice pink tub. I don't know why, but there's a smoke alarm in the bathroom. To be safe, dude. Cover our bases. So there's only a two bedroom, huh? Uh, you can't call that middle one bedroom. Yeah, but that back one you can. The back one you can, and then there's that front one up these stairs to the side. Yeah, so yeah, two. Too big. Well, it's not for this piece of shit. Savages already tried to cut our fucking shit off over here. It's gotta be the real shit. Why the fuck did you do that shit? Don't ever cut my box off like that. Alright, and then I assume we can just clip together the outside footage from last time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.